he is probably the most well-known game creator in the world. Like Mario and Princess Peach. In the space of gaming, he's the master. Stepping into Willy Wonka's chocolate factory with Willy Wonka. What? Are you going to go in my pants? What is looking right? Uh, right, my sympathies. Sneaking missions are called wet words for a reason, after all. But I don't want to make any more of it. I don't want to make any more of it. The final parasites. It knows English. An English strain of the vocal parasite. I will exterminate the English language. But now I'm a company, so if I get it, the next one will not be left. It's crazy. Oh, you got When you balance expectation of hundreds of millions of dollars in investment with wanting to stay true to your vision. Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. If you think you can fool me, you're sorely mistaken. I know the Major better than anyone else. That's like playing Russian Roulette with six bullets. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. The risk is, it's too radical. And that's where the creative courage comes in. Video gaming is an art, but the only person in charge of the orchestra is the auteur. The parasite has infected your band. Those are its lava. They enter the throat and attach themselves to the vocal cords. The purpose of stories is to make meaning out of life. And that's why his work is so important. Ha! I am the pain! It's the obligation of any artist to push boundaries. Room for one more? Aha. Over already? When I was a kid, I had a dream of seeing the future. I had a dream of seeing the future. And the Game of the Year award goes to Sekiro. Tonight, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice also wins Best Action Adventure Game. I've lost. Won't stop hurting. It's like they're all still there. You feel it too, don't you? Did you like it?
I think he's very bad at character, and I think he's extremely conventional, as in non-creative, when it comes to plotting. I know that I'll probably get an incredible amount of hate karma, can you say hate karma, about this. So I'll just say that I did grow up reading, I told you I grew up without TV, so I read instead. And I like Cormac McCarthy and the science fiction writers. I love Frank Herbert, I love Alfred Bester. Right now I really like Greg Egan, so I am extremely picky. And I do have a high standard when it comes to writing. I think that if you're ripping off Tom Clancy, it's Tom Clancy is Tom Clancy. He deserves all the money and fame. The guy has worked hard. Writing is hard work. So to shoot out a bunch of these kinds of things that we've been talking about and then claim yourself as a writer when, and you know, there's good work being done in games. I think Portal is really well written, very beautifully written. But Kojima's stuff is, fine, be a game creator and know what you're not very good at and learn to work with people who are. Stanley Kubrick, famously, the one thing he could not do was write. He could do everything else, but he didn't know how to write. So he worked with good writers and worked with them in a very sort of relentless partnership. He knew his limits. I don't think Kojima's a writer. The fact that he would even be considered one shows how low the standards are in the game industry. Nothing in MGS2 is above a fanfic level. He wouldn't last a morning in a network TV writer's room, and those aren't exactly turning out the Dark Tower series or The Wire. Destroy. Rest in peace, pal.